This is meteorologist Todd Shea with the National Weather Service with a video update recorded about 10 a.m. on April 4th. A combination of glazing ice and snow fell across the area overnight. Here's a look at our snowfall totals as of this Friday morning on April 3rd. And you can see the heaviest snow did fall from northwest Iowa across central Minnesota, including parts of the Twin Cities, and up into the northwest third of Wisconsin. This morning, a combination of winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories remain in effect for much of the region, especially across parts of central southern Minnesota and into the northern half of Wisconsin. There are also some wind advisories that have been posted and remain in effect for parts of central Iowa due to the stronger winds expected behind this winter storm. Road conditions overnight deteriorated in many of the areas, especially hardest hit by the snow. With this map kind of showing the snow-covered roads and, and uh, worse conditions, again from uh, northern parts of Iowa across a, a big check, a section of uh, Minnesota into the northern half of Wisconsin. But if you have travel plans to the south and east of the region, uh, roads were generally just wet. Radar view as of late this morning shows much of the mixed precipitation now over Lake Michigan and moving off into the upper peninsula of, of Michigan. Whereas we still have some lingering light snow and a little bit of, of rain mixed in uh, across western Wisconsin and, and parts of neighboring states that extends up into northern Wisconsin. And that area of snow will continue to move through to the east through Wisconsin as the day progresses. Winds on the backside of the storm system will also be on the increase. We're expecting the strongest winds across more open areas of southern Minnesota and much of Iowa. Uh, but uh, some of these stronger gusts will also be felt as you work your way east into Wisconsin through the day. The winds will be a little lighter as you go north of uh, and along Interstate 94 uh, because of the track of the storm system. So some summary points. Again, we're dealing with snow and ice-covered roads from the... Uh, the aftermath of this winter storm and some of the lingering conditions this morning. Northwest winds will be on the increase and any objects that were covered with ice overnight from some of the freezing rain that we experienced um, could lead to some sporadic power outages. Could be things like branches falling onto lines or uh, tree branches breaking off. The good news is warmer temperatures are expected for this weekend. As usual, if you are looking for additional information, we urge you to check our web page and watch for updates. Uh, we're also active on social media, including a Facebook page, Twitter account, where you can use the hashtag NWSARX to send us information, and of course these YouTube videos.